Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ursula Bailey and in today's video we're going to be talking about three daily habits to improve your astral projection success rate. When you are practicing astral projection, it's a really good idea to just kind of supplement the techniques that you're using with some daily habits. Everybody has their own little rituals or routines that they might like to do to improve their success rate. Uh, today I'm just going to be talking to you about three main things. These are things that you should be doing every single day and this will really help you to improve your astral projection success rate. Okay, so with that, let's just jump straight into habit number one which is daily meditation now I know this kind of seems like a no-brainer but if you are not practicing astral projection through meditation itself then you might think that you don't need to meditate uh, that you're going to do sort of the wake back to bed method and you're going to astral project between uh, sleep states but the truth is that even if you are not practicing astral projection directly through meditation itself it's still a really good idea to have a daily meditation routine and the reason is that meditation is kind of an exercise for your awareness so when you're meditating you're really practicing uh, the art of staying aware and staying conscious even though you're putting yourself in a uh, very under-stimulated state. So the more you practice this, the better you're going to get even in your wake back to bed routine. And if you're hoping that astral projection is going to be something that you're going to be using long term, then it's a really great idea to get your meditation routine down now because eventually you likely are going to want to move into uh, meditation induced astral projection. So I know for me, I spent a few years only projecting through sleep paralysis, but that kind of started to slow down a little bit and it felt to me that I was being guided towards meditation and that I was being pushed to try this new avenue. And that's actually given me a lot more consistency with my experiences, so I'm so glad that I did pick up meditation when I did. I'm not saying that you have to dedicate a lot of time to meditation, just 20 minutes a day is going to be really good. If you're like me and you're a super busy person, then I would recommend trying to make more time in your day rather than squeeze it in somewhere, otherwise it's just not gonna work and you're gonna find yourself skipping meditation times. So what I do is I just wake up really early in the morning and then that gives me time to meditate first thing before I do anything. So if you can set your alarm for just half an hour earlier than what you usually get up then you're going to have time to be able to meditate for say 20 minutes and that's going to set your day up on a positive note and it's also going to help you amplify your astral projection success rate in general. Habit number two is to keep a journal where you document all your spiritual experiences. Not just a dream journal although that definitely helps as well. So often these things will happen during meditation. You might hear your name being called or you might receive some kind of message or download. You might see some imagery, you might feel things. I know for me, sometimes I feel my hair being played with or I feel myself being massaged. It's things like this that you can document in your journal, any kind of psychic phenomena that you experience because astral projection is an activation of the third eye chakra. So when you are documenting these experiences, you're basically saying that you're open to continue receiving more and for those psychic experiences to continue for you and this is really going to help your progress with astral projection. You can also use this journal to document things like signs and synchronicities, little confirmations that you might receive throughout the day, uh, as well as little ideas or downloads that might just kind of pop into your head. Basically, it's the same thing. You're acknowledging the non-physical. You're acknowledging your non-physical guides that might be bringing these signs and synchronicities into your reality. And through this acknowledgement, you kind of continue this flow of communication, I guess, between yourself and the expanded universe. Okay, so finally habit number three and habit number three is to become more present. So this is actually the most important habit for improving your astral projection success rate and it's crazy because the majority of people who are kind of going about their waking lives are actually doing so in almost like a dream state. So everything is kind of just 
autopilot and people are just living in their heads. They're not really thinking about what they're doing and what's going on around them. All they're really thinking about is what's for dinner? What am I gonna do in the weekend? What am I gonna say to this person? What did I say to that person? You know, they're constantly playing this narrative in their heads instead of just being present. The trick to astral projection is really maintaining awareness. And if you can't maintain awareness in your physical reality, then how are you gonna maintain awareness in your non-physical reality? Basically, it's just about finding more ways to be present. So this is something that I started doing pretty early on in my spiritual journey, but it's something that I really needed and I still really need now. I'll be the first to put my hand up and say that even now, uh, I'll catch myself in moments where I'm kind of getting lost in like a dream world or I'm getting lost in my thoughts and you know it really it takes a minute to kind of rein yourself back in and take a deep breath and focus on what's happening all around you. One thing I like to do is put my focus on my senses so I'll say how does my body feel? What can I see right now? What can I hear right now? I'll take a deep breath and smell the air you know, things like that. If you can practice this in your physical reality, then it kind of imprints on your subconscious mind and then you'll find yourself having non-physical experiences like dreams and really taking a moment to become present in those experiences. A dream can become a lucid dream, which can become an astral projection. So that's one way that being present can help you to improve your astral projection success rate. But aside from that, it's also going to help you to be able to maintain awareness while you're astral projecting. So a lot of people will say that they will begin having, say, vibrations and then they'll just fall asleep. Um, that's pretty common. Or they will manage to get out and then they'll fall asleep not long after. So this is the thing, the more you're kind of practicing being present, you are able to maintain awareness for longer. And this is so important for astral projection. I also find it's quite good if you can bring being present into your daily routine. So for example, you might decide that every time you have a shower, you're gonna take a moment to be present and you're gonna kind of feel the water on your skin and you're gonna breathe in the steam and you're really going to experience what it's like just to have that shower and I know that's something so simple another thing that you might do is when you're having your morning coffee instead of making that a time to kind of scroll on your phone which I think most people do and this is such an autopilot thing like you're kind of just scrolling and you're not thinking at all so you could make this a time where you can be really present and it's so nice to kind of just sit outside in the morning and enjoy your hot coffee and smell the fresh morning air and listen to the birds. I mean, I, it sounds really cheesy, but it honestly is just so nice and so relaxing. And bonus, it's going to really help you have a better success rate with your astral projections. So um, it's a win-win. Okay, so I will leave it there guys. I know it's a little bit of a short one today, but I hope that you guys found this helpful and that you got something out of it. I wanted to keep these habits kind of super simple, but also really effective so that you can implement them into your routine and start seeing really great results. But I would love to know if you have any uh, daily habits or routines, rituals that you do to help you to astral project. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And happy travels. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.